Hello guys and gals. Got the Spirit of 76, about 95% build I guess, maybe a little more. The wing panels uh, are completed. And the fuselage is probably 95, 96% complete. Got the push rods in it. Uh, all I need to do is to go back and trim off the, uh, the uh, inner tubing where my wire is going to go. I completed the tail section which is uh, fairly simple to complete. Uh, the rudder system is also done and uh, put a little paint on it. I'd never painted the other 76's I had. They had a few decals on them was, was about it but I put some red trim on it just to help see it a little bit better. One of the problems I had was I was using a heat gun and uh, uh, it, it did not work. I put lift up on this wing, the right to hydro, and put the glue on the inside piece here and uh, yeah, it just didn't take. It didn't take at all. It stuck for until it was dry and as soon as it dry I picked up the wing and it just fell apart so yeah I've got to use 50-50 epoxy on it. I should have anyway. I used that in in Germany when I had it uh, so anyway that's a probably a, a five or ten minute job there and then once it dries but I had I was kind of upset because I had the perfect dehydro put in there and uh, it held for a little while then when it dried it just just cracked. Um, one thing I did want to say or show you was this piece here is the uh, style elevator that was designed by the uh, hobby company that Hobby Shack that released this. It's a fairly simple design. It just sits in here as a cradle. There's a little bearing right here, the, a roller bearing that turns and then this piece here of course goes up and down depending on your servo position and this piece here gets glued on the bottom and on the top portion of the rudder which is right here. So once that goes down inside it's supposed to give it a nice firm mount but it doesn't and I remember now back in Germany when I was flying these uh, I think every one that we built probably five of them I think they all had a sloppy back end on them and uh, I'm kind of chuckling now because I'm not quite sure how we flew them the way we did really launching them hard on high starts and um, when we were slope soaring off of the, some of the mountains over there, they were getting bounced around pretty good. But I, I know that's why we were fighting so hard on the radio. It just never had a really steady back end. So I'm probably going to have to do some modifications on it to get it nice and tight. We'll see what happens with it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I totally forgot that mounting system that they used. In concept, it's pretty good but it just doesn't hold that size of an elevator steady enough and uh, so yeah I've got to work on some kind of bracket to maybe uh, tighten it up just a little bit. The inside is ready to go. Uh, the battery compartment will go in there. The old style battery that we used on these was uh, four AA batteries uh, in, a, in a cradle and then wired to the, the receiver and the uh, servos. So now I'm just going to use a little 600 milliamp LiPo battery in the front. Um, I'm going to be mounting my two servos here in the middle and then the uh, receiver will probably go down in, in here underneath the, uh, the, uh, the uh, push rods. But um, <clears throat> yeah, pretty simple build. The fuselage went together really really well. I was pleased with it. It, it lined up. Some of the, some of the 
uh, Spirit of 76 is that we ordered when we were in Germany. Uh, the fuselages were bent and so we had to steam them with hot steam uh, to get the fuselage straight. But this one is really straight and the wings are really straight so I'm pleased with that. So anyway that's where I am and uh, the canopy is about same thing about 90% done. I got the clear part all cut out the bottom base hasn't been. I had a pilot figure in there and he was too tall for the canopy so I had to pull him out and uh, I have to repaint that in there. But uh, it is a nice canopy. It's a really nice hard plastic. So I'll get back with everybody and hopefully next video I got is a completed glider and hopefully a nice maiden plate. Talk to you all later.